Hi everyone, welcome back to the part two of the Western Region vlog. Yes, I promised you guys in the last part that we see Princess Town, the beautiful Princess Town. Yes, we are there now and this is the fort that first used to be German and then Dutch. And we're going to learn a bit from the from the guide, you see him in a bit as well. And then after this place, we went to Cape Three Points, that is the southernmost part of Ghana. And then after this place, we went to Inzulenzo and then Axim. And then from Axim, back to Tokrati. So guys, enjoy this vlog and let me know if you have any questions about getting to other places. I will gladly answer you. Enjoy. The reason is uh, sometimes you pass through the Posa and sometimes you walk through the Posa River. So you walk in, you come out, you walk in, you come out. That's why you call it Okay, I'll wait here. If you look down there, yes, there is a small house over there where the popular address is. See, on the website. This, uh, this here. Yeah. There's a security place. The snail will use the pathway to the harbor and they use a smaller boat to transport them to the river. Okay. So, uh, the air transportation, if any enemy tries to attack them, they have to defend themselves. Not made up of cement, as I've already said. Yes. It's clean shells and then palm oil. Palm oil. We have the stones. Uh -huh. So this place serves as church. Uh -huh. This place serves as church. So we have Abu for getting there. When the business is well, we have the And the town as a church. In church service, there is a separation between the blood and the blood. Why is the colonial? So, this is the engine. Initially, what the Germans did is build the engine. They have the engine up there. Because of the conflict between the Dutch and the Nana of Pakazo, the build engine was destroyed. So, when the Dutch took place, they were making Thank you. 
though guys that was princess town the road to princess town was good but leaving princess town to keep three points wasn't that good it's good we had a, a car that was a bit higher and then we arrived at the eco lodge cape three points the eco lodge guys the place is beautiful if you really want to be in touch with nature that is the place for you to be eco lodge is 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 really nice a bit pricey if you compare the what you, like what you get for the price it is a bit pricey and also when it comes to food the food is a bit pricey as well because the portions are much smaller you see the food in a bit i will add the, the food as well but you basically get a hut for yourself in an open air bathroom that's what we had we had a sean's lodge and one good thing about it is it's just close to the sea you hear the waves you can basically wake up and go for a walk and then from there to the cape three points is not too far as well so you can definitely enjoy like these two things and they can also organize a guide for you to go there as well for, like to take you there apart from that um I would encourage you to do it if you are going make sure you go with like an off-road car because the road is really not the best unfortunately and yeah if you are expecting a very warm warm welcome we didn't have that per se because i kind of felt like the management was constantly on her phone um they have their friends that they paid a lot of attention to but if you were other guests you didn't really feel like you were that welcome and that is just how i felt there but apart from that eco lodge is for you um yes you can see the they've had a bonfire at night as well and it was also really beautiful so keep watching and you'll see the bonfire oh, okay. That's finally we got to keep three points this is the southernmost part or southernmost point of ghana and guys sunset here is amazing you can go up on the lights um tower i mean lighthouse tower but um we got there a bit late and i didn't want to like rush up the stairs and then have to come down in like five minutes so i just decided to stay yeah but it's not nice geworden. we saw some orange coconuts and all of that but this place was nice and that's the bonfire i told you guys about so that was the end of our Cape Three Points trip or that part of the trip. The next day we went on to the Asafa Sini border to Côte d'Ivoire. And there I didn't film much because the place was so busy. But from there we went to lodge at Maha Resort. So this is the road to Maha Resort that you were seeing and we go to Maha. Maha is beautiful compared to how much you pay you, you are living Maha us. and how much you pay at oh. Eco Lodge. Maha is no. like two to three times the price of Eco Lodge and Eco Lodge was charging I think 40 anymore. euros, the equivalent of oh. 40 euros in Ghana. So we have that Maha easy together. I was a bit over 100 euros I believe but that's the Maha and they put a lot of thought into the place that was our room this was our balcony it was also like an open air um shower like for you to wash your feet and things when you come back from and yes our room was a bit messed up but that's basically the idea and they have this thing with the wood going on throughout the hotel maha is beautiful really the food is good we had we joined the buffet the night before and then the next day we had a break breakfast buffet as well and that was included in our room thing so yeah basically that is the maha place Shirts 
so, das ist alles Marmeladezeug. So, wenn du es selber toasten magst, kannst du es auch ja. machen. Der Salat sieht gut aus. Das ist von gestern, der. Nee, das ist ein anderer. Das, das gab es gestern. Ja, das ist mit Chicken. Coleslaw Salat. Das ist Coleslaw nochmal. Einfach, ähm, wie, wie heißt das? So, das was bei KFC immer gibt, das ist ein Salat. Cool Salat da. Aber das ist Mango. Morning guys, today is Sunday the 9th of January. January, 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 January. And we are about to check out. So as you can see the background, I love the background here with the black and um, black with the wooden um, design. And it's like the, the same design throughout. That's the theme throughout this place and I love it. Even the fridge has it. I'll show you guys in a bit. So our guide just cancelled on us but we have google i've been there before i have experience so we're just gonna go ahead and go to Insulenzo. so we've done busia we've done kick three points we've done half a sini with the waf here jewi waf i think it's called and then now we are at maha um, beach resort this place is beautiful huge and yeah, it's, it's been nice so far, but we're going to move ahead and go back to Takradi over um, through Inzulenzo and then from Takradi we are going to start our trip to Tamale, Tamale, I can't wait. So first, tomorrow I'm going to try and get my nails done because it's um, growing out and I can't handle longer nails, so I'm going to go ahead and get those done first. And as you can see, even though I've been using sunscreen, my tan is serious. Everybody's saying, hey, you really tanned. But yeah, I prefer being tanned and having clear skin than not tanned and my skin is just bumpy. So Ghana's water and air is really good for my skin. My skin is so smooth, it's smoother than when I was coming from Germany. And yeah, so Paul is uh, researching, right babe? You're researching or you're writing? <laughs> What's Max to get out there? Ah, okay. Ah, super. So yeah, he is actually researching and organizing our trip to Tamale. So we are both members of a Facebook group for Ghanaian, um, German experts in Ghana. So they share ideas on how to um, go around here, visit places and all the information. So we are going to, we are currently, we put up a post, we are getting so we're getting the um, answers on that. So that is one part of our day. So hopefully by Tuesday, we move to Kumasi, from Kumasi to Tamale, Tamale, maybe for over to, through Kentampo, to see the Kentampo Falls or Waterfalls. And then from there, we come um, back to Tadi to pack up and move on to Accra and get ready to get back. So, so far, this has been our itinerary or our things and we always thought that we'd have a lot of days towards the end because most of our plans were um, like really, how do you call it? Durchgetaktet, you know? We were like really planned, da, 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 but then we both fell sick. I had food poisoning, Paul as well. And it cost us three to five days to recover. So now we are ready to move and we feel better. We're ready to show you guys everything. So. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? As I always say, yeah, just subscribe and enjoy the vlog with me, basically. So yeah, bye. We finally got to the window now. Das ist Brot noch 20 extra oder haben wir es schon? 80 haben wir schon. Schon bezahlt. Schon bezahlt. Gut, gut, der
you gave us because the outboard motor like the engine of the canoe was really loud but i'm just going to give you guys the audio for you guys to listen to so please please excuse the loud noise in the background but the information he's giving is actually very very important now this place is called jungle area Mm -hmm. Or you can call here natural condition zone. Natural condition zone, yes. okay. So yeah, when you come early in the morning about 5 30 a.m., you see some of the monkeys around. But when you come to the summer land, the summer wet land, the monkeys, you have two types the lunar monkeys and black and white corridors. They are the common monkeys around. Mm -hmm. But here, because of here is one big, so this place is very much uh -huh. and then it's six feet down. The one is step inside and it's going down and it's smash. Mm -hmm. So from here, we are heading towards the main river, which is called the Manzuli. Manzuli? The Manzuli starts from 8 feet to 35 feet. Like, uh, okay. That's a smashy. Smashy. Right now, yeah. right now, because of the noises of the people, so the mountains, they run too far. Okay. Uh, so they, they just come early. And then when you come with the paddle, the manual boots, mm -hmm. you come to see them. Okay. Uh, so our boat is too loud. Okay. And we have crocodiles too. Yeah, they have crocodiles. The crocodiles, they have their special things that they are. And they are the back of the place. This is salt water or sweet water. So I had been to Inzalenzo before or in Inzalenzo before, that was January 2018 and then, or 2019 rather, and then now 2020 I'm back and I can tell you that there was more water than last time and so this experience was much more like enjoyable than the first one because we're able to really get into the canoe and drive straight away the last time we had to walk a bit before we got there. But yes, this is Inzalenzo beautiful 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 guys it is just raw raw beauty and the people just go about their things like nobody's watching like yes and they have their own hotel as well so like a, a lodge if you want to go stay, spend the night there you can actually do that but um i didn't know that beforehand but yes it's little, so it's nice it was worth it And then this is one still guest house. So people can come and stay here if they want to. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we'll pass to the side. Okay, we'll follow you. People live here. Uh, yeah, about 510 people live here. <laughs> 510. So if I give it to more, you add it to 511. <laughs> so one family shares one one house. Yeah, we, we base in family by family. Mm -hmm. So if you reach any cross name, it's a family. Okay. For example, for example, this is mm -hmm. yeah, this is one family. Okay. The other land that we bought the boat is one family. Mm -hmm. This one is also one family. Okay. So Twenty-four names. Yes. So that's also the number of the families. Yes. Okay. But can another family come and join? Yeah. But they have to build for them first. Uh, yes. So if you want to come and join, you just. This is like a community. Oh no! Oh, that's it. So this is where you go to get the history of the place, that's the community center, but you have to go there and get your own information. And then 
You're going to see the school. This is the school. Mm -hmm. So every every child comes here. Yeah. But the children is good to know. Yeah. Here one under the lawyer house of bone. Public toilet here. Yeah. It's so great to see so much improvement and development because the last time there wasn't. So it was there but not this well developed. And that was our trip guys to Inzeling. So now we are already moving away from his lane so this is their castle i think the name was sophia or antoinette oh, i've forgotten but this is the castle in insulinso as well but then we were moving on from insulinso back to takrai we wanted to go down cobra beach but then the roads weren't really favorable so we decided to move on to axim so this is the fort at axim metro <laughs> Those kids were so funny, so so funny. But yes, guys, Akbim is a fishing town, very beautiful, and it's. I, I've never been to Aksim before. I've heard so much about Aksim as a child, but going there this time around was really, really nice for me. And next time, I would like to spend more time there. Go see the forts and also visit their beach area. We did go there, but we didn't spend much time because we wanted to be back in Tokrati before dark. So yes, guys, enjoy the rest of Axim and also their resorts, Axim resorts. Axim Resort is also nice, but then back to Tadi, please, for the best coconut. Oh girl, oh girl. <laughs> and this coconut toilet, guys, is amazing. It's so funny, so efficient. Oh, I'm telling you this, I miss him. I really miss him because he was just so entertaining. Oh my goodness. Okay. So Chaps nicht mit mir. Wow. Er macht keine Show mehr. Hey, Queen of Enjoyment. Ich habe es ja nicht meins. Eben, aber hast du leer getrunken? Hast du? Hey. Du hast es gesagt. Hat. Nimmst du weg, fast richtig leer. Ja, kannst du weiter filmen. What's your area? Is Is one in town? Nanyan, is 
from a hunter land to enjoy. Listen, Sakradi, Western region was beautiful. So come back next Thursday for more on Tamale and Kumasi. Take good care of yourselves, guys. Adi!